let's take a few minutes to talk about safety chains. So I live in the western half of the U.S. where wildfires are very common in the summer and typically the local highway departments in a lot of the western states will put out public service announcements, sometimes even uh, putting messages up on the highway reader board signs that say properly secure your safety chains. I see so many tow vehicle and trailer combinations where their tow chains are maybe one to two inches off the ground. That's really not enough clearance. It's been known to have those safety chains bounce up and down. It was, for example, if you hit a piece of debris in the road or you go through a bumpy section road, these uh, chains drag the ground. I have heard of instances where safety chains have created sparks and those sparks have started highway fires in the median or right away. So right here, I have probably seven inches of clearance, I'm going to guess. Actually, we're at about eight. This is a little bit of an exaggerated situation because my truck is parked where the nose is lower than the tail. So if that truck was sitting level, I would probably have six inches of clearance. So let's take a closer look at those safety chains. It's very common that safety chains are too long. Some people have said you can twist the chains a few wraps. I don't know if that's really the right thing to do or not. There's been chatter online about having the safety chains twisted can reduce the strength if they are put to their use, like if your trailer comes detached. A twisted safety chain may not be as strong as a straight chain, I don't know. So I'm not going to debate that aspect of it, but you can see here that my chains are not twisted. So let's take a closer look here. So if you look closely here, you can see that there's a zip tie. Let's take this first chain off and take a closer look at it. So I do have my safety chains crossed. The logic of crossing them is so that if the trailer does come detached, the cross safety chains will cradle the, the hitch or the coupler. So see here we have one, two, three links of extra chain. And I have that extra tail zip tied to one of the other links. So this particular trailer came with a style of hook that for one it has a little keeper built into it so there's no way that that safety chain should come unhooked. Many years ago I was towing a trailer and I always used to hook my safety chains like this and it had an open hook. Well I hit a piece of debris in the road my safety chain bounced right up over that piece of debris. I think it was a tire carcass from a semi trailer. Safety chain bounced up and then the hook came like that and it actually dropped out and then was dragging the ground. Within about a mile or so, a truck passed me and was pointing back. So I pulled over and stopped and saw the problem. So after that, I never hook my safety chains up like this. I always hook them up like this now, but I already pulled out this little keeper key. It's basically a mini version of a hitch pin. And then we can change the length of our chain by pulling out this pin and then inserting it into a different link location. So that's one way of uh, shortening in your safety chains. This might be a little bit more difficult to do on some chains that have smaller links, but I do believe that there's different sizes of these hooks. If your chains were really excessively long, you could always buy a pair of these hooks, take up the slack in the link, and then take the end of your, your hook and just hook it through one of these links. Or you could just totally cut the hook off and then do what I've done by using just this hook just insert it like that and then we're good to go. This is a unique design on this trailer tube. You can replace these safety chains or you can actually take up some of the slack by pulling out that bolt which then exposes a hole and then that allows you to slide the link out of the notch back into the hole and then pull the chain out. And that's that maybe is what I should do. These chains, you can see, they are excessively long. 
So fast forward about 20 minutes and I've actually made some changes to these chains. You can see I've only got two links dangling free right there. And I have a bunch right here. So what I've done is reposition those hooks and I also took out the bolt here and I completely removed the chains and then I cut two links off of the chains. I would like just a little bit more clearance. I'm at about five and a half inches or so right there. So I personally think that a minimum of six inches of ground clearance is ideal providing your trailer and tow vehicle sit high enough to accommodate that. Here's an example of how safety chains might be attached. This trailer has two little loops welded to the A-frame and then the safety chains are attached to that. So the safety chain is inserted onto that little loop and then that loop is welded onto the frame. And this trailer does happen to have hooks that can be removed. And these chains are really long. You can see how I have it twisted already from the last time I towed this trailer. I really should shorten those. And here's yet another example. This trailer has one long round bar. It's welded right here. And then it's also welded on each end. And boat trailers are a completely different animal. You don't have an A-frame, it's just one long tongue, and uh, this is pretty common. So the safety chains are actually bolted to the frame of the, the boat trailer. And we have one bolt for each, each chain. This might create a little bit of a debate, so go ahead and post your thoughts on this down in the comments but sometimes people will twist the safety chains just a little bit to take up some of the slack. That's a little bit too much. On most trailers like utility trailers, cargo trailers, or RVs such as travel trailers, the chains aren't able to be replaced because they are actually welded to the frame. Unlike this particular trailer, is a rental trailer, and you can see that bolt. If we pull that bolt out, then I can remove the chains. If you look down here at these chains, you can see that they're pretty rusty right about in the midsection. That's because the people that have rented this ex-Home Depot rental trailer haven't secured their chains in a way that keeps them from dragging the ground. So all of the anti-corrosion zinc style coating has gotten chewed off from these chains dragging the ground. So if the people that had rented this trailer previously were savvy on proper usage of safety chains, they would have twisted them a little bit. Now I don't know how logical it is to twist the chains as far as if it reduces the strength if there's too many twists, so that's something we should have a discussion about down in the comments below, so feel free to engage in some uh, commentary down there. 